Many unknown deep sea species are waiting to be discovered. Further, the geographic distributions of many already described deep sea species, especially those of myofauna size, are unknown. During the census of the diversity of abyssal marine life, the abyssal plains of many regions of the world ocean were sampled. Follow us on our long journey from sampling the seabed and working in the lab to describing a new species. Only when we can recognize individuals from distant location as belonging to the same species can we determine the large-scale biogeography of benthic copepods. We are going on a deep-sea expedition to collect myofauna, one millimeter size animals that live in the sediments of the sea. Our aim is to investigate the distributions of the most abundant crustaceans in the myofauna, the copepods. The multicorer is an excellent device for collecting myofauna, including benthic copepods. When it touches the seabed in 5000 meters depth, the 12 plastic cores are gently pushed into the sediment. The undisturbed sediment surface contains most of the myofauna organisms. The sediment is preserved for our analysis. Back in the lab we sieved the samples over a 38 micron sieve. Then we centrifuged the samples in order to separate the animals from the sediment. This is the sample before centrifugation and this is what we are going to sort in the lab. All myofauna has to be handpicked using a stereo microscope. For ecological investigation, we sort the myofauna for higher taxa and pick all the copper poles for our biogeography studies. Oh, here I got one. I'll put it in glycerin to prepare it for species determination and dissection. This is a new species. I will describe it because it has a wide distribution range. Scientific drawings are an important step in the description of a new species. We use a drawing tube attached to the microscope. With the drawing tube I see the pencil in my hand within the object and I can follow the contours of the animal. The detailed drawings and the images taken with the confocal laser scanning microscope enable us to recognize the species whenever we find it in our samples. During the CEDAMA project, a multitude of international expeditions have contributed to our study. Vesopsilus antarcticus is a benthic copepod with reduced swimming legs. It is so tiny, it measures only 345 micrometers. It is only known from locations in the southern ocean. Ematonia clausi is also a benthic copepod. It has red-tailed seta at the focal rami and a body size of 320 micrometers. It is found at locations in the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans. Ematonia andeep is unique in the deep sea because of the hooks at the telson. Its body size is 320 micrometers. This benthic copepod is found in the Antarctic, the Southeast Atlantic, the North Atlantic and the Pacific Ocean. Our new species show that Bantic deep sea copepod species can have geographic distributions that extend over thousands of kilometers. Therefore, submarine ridges and canyons do not appear to be barriers to dispersal of those species. Future research programs should add genetic investigations to confirm our morphological results. However, the fact that these tiny animals can be found nearly worldwide shows that their dispersal strategies are very effective.